Okay, what up? Welcome to another episode of The Mind Lane. It's your boy, Little Rodney, here to show you some cool shit, because we finally have stats. Uh, shout out to the Potato Chip uh, for coming through here. As you can see, we're 7-1. and one. Uh, We're honestly just waiting to face monkeys in training, because uh, we've proven that um, y'all can't hold us. I don't know what else to say here. Uh, so anyway... I want to show you something, though, because I've actually lauded Skeleton as pretty much the only person who I gave a shit about in the mid lane. And uh, yeah, so let's take a look here. So as you can see, he has the most ridiculous gold share of anyone, but he also has the highest kill share by a lot of anyone. A pretty solid CS per minute. Um, has a pretty high kill participation as well. He's second in kill participation. This man... He is the win condition for his team. That's it. Um, he is the win condition. Um, and I feel like not enough people are taking knowledge of that. They're giving credit to a lot of other people uh, I don't really think are um, on his level as far as, as a player. So, that said, we beat Skeleton. Um, I even for one game played a dog shit champion like uh Seraphine who regardless of being S tier just feels like crap for the first eight levels. So past that, let's take a look at at, at Gold Share of their team here. Let's scroll down till you find your boy. Little Rodney is thirty fifth in gold share for his team. Thirty fifth out of everybody in the league. Uh, out of my team, as far as gold share goes, you can see, um, hey, Grim is still playing. I played with Grim forever ago. Psych is ahead of me, as you can see. Uh, this is something else. I'm sorry. Thirty sixth out of gold share. I'm sorry. You can see Chef Boy was seventh out of gold share, which further proves my point that we were kind of given a lot of uh, free reign to Chef Boy to just kind of take whatever. But you can even see Psych is twentieth in gold share. Brave is nineteenth in gold share. Um, yeah. So obviously, I am third on my team in gold share. This is what we do. It is not about how many golds I gold. That said, even with that, well, where's your boy? Oh, he's ninth in kills. But I'm third on my team in gold share at all times. Well, okay, what about assists? Well, uh, I was second in assists up until very, very recently. But, well, hey, there you go. First of all, there's Rook. And there's me. There's 15th in kills. See Brave a little bit above me. Um, because, and like I said, my goal in team play is not to eat up all the resources and prove that I'm a solo carry god. It's making sure that my teammates are fucking rolling. And my teammates are fucking rolling. I mean, my KDA isn't the greatest, but it's not bad. You see a lot of people here uh, basting the second. Bot God, who is no longer with us. Rest in peace, Bot God. Um, Psych, of course, has a fantastic KDA. Um, you see Young Rich Boy does have a better KDA, uh, but also seems to take a significant more amount of gold share than I do. Um, I'm still 22nd in KDA. Brave's a little higher. Uh, you know, uh, Psych is higher. Um, Rook is right here, actually. So... Here's the thing. So what, what we've established is I'm not feeding and I'm helping my team every step of the way and I'm not gobbling up all the resources from my team. That sure seems to point out that what I've been saying all along and what to credit Leper, first of all, I'm not losing to these mid laners y'all swear are better than me because they're not better than me. But second off is that I don't require hella resources to be useful, which is, again, kind of a problem because if it becomes like that, you are the win condition, right? So if you can shut down the win condition, that's it, which leads us to what just happened 
for our team because uh, we played Skeleton um, and GSG. Skeleton, like I said, I think honestly mechanically is a, is a monster. Um, but we beat them 2-0. Uh, well, how did we beat them 2-0? We beat them 2-0 by playing as a team um, and playing what I would like to call, for the most part, I played, well, I shouldn't say for the most part, it was two games. First game I played, again, Seraphine. Fuck you gonna do on Seraphine. You're gonna boost your KDA, but you're gonna generally lose lane. It was Seraphine into Silas. I'll show you some highlights. So as you can see, I'm having a bad time. Um, I'm honestly about to die in a second here. Yeah. I hate this whole fucking shit. Yeah, get in get Excel in here. I'm upset about my draft. I'm 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 not I'm not playing this bullshit. Man. <laughs> I don't like playing Seraphine for that exact reason. I like to win lane and then use it to rotate out, basically. That is what I enjoy. Um you can't do shit with Seraphine for the first like eighteen levels. You wanna follow Scuttle? I can come to that. But let it go. Um, let it go. I cannot contest him. Yeah, so you can see we're having to give up early objectives because Silas is coming. I can't really do anything. Silas is coming. Um, Silas is coming. Especially against Silas, right? But then we'll go a little later. Oh, now I'm 0-2. I'm still getting my ass kicked. Now I'm 0-2-1. I helped somebody. Now watch it. Now I'm 0-3-9. All right, I'm so even though this, again, I don't think Seraphine has a lot of kill pressure in lane. I don't think Seraphine necessarily has a lot of kill pressure, period. Seraphine is not something that you can side lane with because it's fucking Seraphine. I'm out here contributing to my team. Uh, and again, my CS isn't the best. It's not the worst. Right? And I'm doing what I can to help everybody. So now I'm 0-3 and 10. And look, we're taking Baron. Why? Because I was able to help my team as a, I won't say as opposed, but in ways other than just getting kills. Right? So that's all we have to do. And then the game's over. Game's over. No, 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 no. He's fine. He's fine. Four, five, and 16. There we go. Not the best, not the worst. Keep attacking it. Don't stop. Uh, honestly, there's a death over here. We could have probably prevented but it's whatever, right? Shouting, I'm a KDA player. So, yeah, fucking I'm a dick. Fucking We're going to fast forward here. Hopefully, I'm on Ari. National champion. The boy's on Ari. Now, so some of y'all have not grasped yet. I have like a 70 win rate on Ari um, across both of my accounts. 70 win rate on both accounts, honestly. Okay, the following both accounts that I'm playing is... currently. I'm fucking a monster the on fall, Ari. Or they were saying like if the Fallen beats us something something and i'm like but the fallen is like a game behind us either way hey, so I you see well. rodney the shirtless tat shad here uh enjoying this against uh aurelia who uh honestly ari should oh. counter and i'm doing hella work doing hella work doing hella work oh look oh, there's a solo cool. kill oh hey look i'm getting a little bit of uh a, a little bit of help there uh yeah swag uh went a little deep but doesn't matter getting a little bit of help Very and again nice. so look here's up. what i want to point out right this allows you not to push out your laner is in a badass What's place going on? right so she's now under tower she has the cs under tower and she can either die or not yeah. die you get a good back let's fast forward here so what happens you come back she's not in lane she's late getting the lane you have the push again now you have a, a, a level advantage you can look to do things right so i push up here we're looking oh well actually i'm gonna hit this plate right but now you can poke under tower he misses that uh he's not selling that whole uh thing i was just talking about with him being a, a beast right so because you're that we know that they just took this rift herald watch this play mm-hmm no, he hey, took Rift Herald. Ignite him. Yeah. Doesn't matter that you ult his Nocturne. You're dead. Right? So now it's a 2v2. Hey. Except you're ahead in levels, and she's also just had to skip a wave. I didn't dodge I very am well. I'm out of mana. Oh, god damn. You got I'm out of mana. Oh, god damn it. Barely living. Swag. Making magic with the fucking... Uh, 
Oh, that flash. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> it's the red buff. Oh, Making the red magic buff. with the Ivern. And then the red buff gets the kill. So we just won a 3v2, but why? Because I was able to play ahead so that even though they took the objective, took we can then rotate through wow. because I'm able to get the push because Literally, I was able to all, me get that to save play. My life, like, three different this is times. why it's not just, then, hey, are you good? <laughs> it's, hey, are you good? And can you help your team? Do you know how to rotate? Again, oh, like, like I said before, y'all yeah. hey, can probably 1v1 me till forever. Oh. Like I'm still a fucking monster, okay. and if you don't learn how to play the game, you're gonna keep losing to me. Even though you, you know, I'm, I, I'm not making those oh my god plays. I'm not, I'm not playing a one v nine carry. Well, yeah, because I don't have to. Most of the time, I can play my lane and then look to, you know, help push objectives and all that other shit. Um, and then because I'm playing Ari, I can go ahead and get this. Yada, yada, yada. We can go ahead and get in the side lanes now. We can get in the side lanes. You got two people bot lane. My bot lane is taking fucking objectives, right? Your everybody is up here. So you got this guy. Salamander. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. Right? Yeah, fuck everybody. Three of them top. And that's your nocturnal. Right? One That's your Nocturne ult that you want. But Nocturne has to go back. So Nocturne literally just came out, ulted, and has to go away. Uh, Why? So then what can yeah. we do? We can start rotating to mid lane and to bot lane to see what else we can get. This is the real mind lane. It's figuring out how to create advantages that you can then rotate around to help your team. So now my team is continuing to push bot lane beyond the tower because... They know that everybody nice. had to come here and answer me. That's that should be your shit. Nice. As a mid laner, Knock you should be here. trying to get an advantage to create things that your team can generally prevent them oh. from taking. I know I'm about to die here because, uh, again, I'm I, as much as I'm talking about yeah. the mind lane. Sometimes I get a little too full of myself. I'm like, ah, I can just outplay these fuckers, or I can do this or that. And so we lose an objective, which again, <laughs> put mind on. lane. Ah. Use your brains. Uh, we do get a dragon off of it, which winds up being super useful, but you can see the flipping and flopping of mind lane, and that's what, again, I really think I was there. is a strength I have, at least definitely in this league elo brand, whatever, um, and that honestly, if other teams and other players were able to convert like this, they would do a lot better. Um, and, you know, with the fact that they are think, actually yeah, good I mechanically, they, they would probably just eat I'm me alive. Oh, but they don't. And so we keep it rolling, yeah, and we continue to enjoy this magnificent lead that we have as uh, CB rookies because we are beasts. And there you go. There's a, you go, a dead... <laughs> Did you use that to run? <laughs> and then he's got to use the Nocturne ult to run. So that's two Nocturne ults he's used to zero, well, I won't say to zero effect, but to limited effect. And then he winds up getting stuck out here uh, fighting Swag, who is being magnificent. But yeah, that's the whole point. That's all I'm trying to say. You know, we're talking about 1v9ing and this and that and the other. Like, nah, we're not playing a 1v9 game. We're not playing a 1v1 game. You know, we're playing five on five. I forget how your shit works. <laughs> your shit is going always going to be to uh, help yeah, your team by. as well as help yourself. We don't have anything for another. All I'm saying, thank you for yeah, coming to the mine lane. Three seconds, which is kind of how I'm. Dying. Chubby baby's uh, really the best. I, I'm leaving Rook. Later. Ooh, ooh, Wait, I'm, I'm sorry. CB. Oh, you're good. The right. best. Later.